Before the video starts today, let me tell you a little bit about Revived Football. Revived Football is a website where you can get replica historic football kits from Milan to Man City and even international ones. You can also get a mystery box where you can get a completely random historic kit. But there's even a page where you can request a kit to be put on there for the future. On top of that, they've got free worldwide delivery, money back guarantee and 24 seven support if anything goes wrong with your kit. So make sure you check out Revive Football before or after the video. There is also a promotional code on screen right now, which you can use and in the description for 10% off your order. Well guys, we are back again for another episode on the Paris career mode after a great reception to the last video. Thank you so much for that. We continue into five games which all are winnable apart from the last one, which of course we do want to win, but is realistically not winnable. But in our opinion, or in my opinion at least, we just can't lose it. Let's just say that, shall we? As yes guys, welcome back to the Paris FC career mode, episode number 8 of season number 5. As we sit in 5th, 1 point behind Montpellier, um, 7 points behind uh, Marseille right now, Angus and Leon just behind us by 1. But how are you guys doing? How are you doing when this video starts? Please let me know in the comments below, I just want to know a little bit how you guys are doing. And of course, I do still read the comments, get to them a little bit later than usual, but I always read all your guys' comments. As we have Renier first today. On the 15th, on the Saturday, good fixture with Gingamp after that on the 23rd. That's at home as well after a week's rest. I love these week's rest we get. With Nice after that on the Sunday, six away, which we kind of might play. Bordeaux and Nice both struggling as we have Bordeaux after that on the 13th. But I think we're going to play one of those at least as PSG is the last game. That's the game I'm talking about. We want to win it, of course. We might draw it, but we can't afford to lose it this time. Really don't want that happening. As I think we're going to play Renier, they are a decent team on the 15th. Let's have a look, see, shall we? I don't know where they are in the league. Of Slovenia, I've got a message. Unfortunately, Slovenia. I am not going to be your manager at all. I want to see where players or teams are in the league. As these are in 10th, so yes, I think it's going to be a played one. And if you haven't seen the last episode, big spoiler on screen, but you should have. We have changed the formation up and we are going to be playing with this lineup. We've got Verbruggen in goal. Jan Valery is now going to have to change back to right back as he sits there with Padashiel, Bamba and Digne. Kind of want to switch them around, but I kind of don't at the moment because they are, well, left foot, left centre back, right foot, right centre back. We will swap them around actually with Maleka on the right hand side of midfield. Not even wing, but he's comfortable playing there with Ceballos, Masengo and Leonard. The striker actually doing okay at left midfield, even though he should play there, but he's got the pace for it. With Elise through the middle, because I always wanted him supporting the striker. Jean-Philippe Mateta, who has now 16 goals for this season. That is absolutely amazing from a player that didn't start off the best. Of course, slowed down a little bit as we're going to go into this first game. We are at home, hoping for three points. And Ortega in goal for Reniers, as their lineup is Jan Luigi's. Nyasame, Nasic, my throat went sore then. Elenia, Norman, Leah Saliki, Kunyasa, Sabetchiu, and Doka. Who was the right back? Bowie. Hopefully, these are a Bowie Gee team for us. Always oh, going to try and squeeze a pun in there as Olise straight away on this to Danny Sabayos. And Sabayos to try and charge forward a little bit right here and drops it off to Maleka, who's going to try and force his way inside. But tackled straight away by Norman. That was a bit stupid, wasn't it? Bifok. Into where Masengo is, and Masengo battles back for the ball, but his pass forward is not a good one. Really do want to have a good game this time out, as oh, Bamba's lost it as well. Onto Pfok, as Pfok lays one off into the middle. Good shot on Verbruggen. Even better save for us, because that could have been threatened in eight minutes into this game. They've already got one shot off at us, as Siliki whips it straight into Leonard. We try and whack it. It's not a very good whack, so they still have the ball in our box. It's not good, this. Please defend it. Fadia Shile coming across and doing so as we passed it out to Jackson Maleku, who kind of has a run on right here. But one of the defenders has dropped far, far back. Gianluigi as Mateta has it now. Elise in front. Can he get past this defender? Should have the skill. Tries to ball roll away. Or flip flap, whatever it is. I'm not a skillful person. But I've tried one there and won a penalty with it. So very good work from our cam and we are going to get a spot kick so 
I'm not confident until we've scored it, but what a way to start this game off as we're going to give it to... Should we give it to him? Yes. Actually, Leonardo has the best penalties. Not that good as well, but definitely the best by far. It's going to go bottom right. And it's saved. Unlucky right there, but still we've got a battle on. Danny Ceballos with the corner. It looks like it will fall in. Elise back to Leonard with a shot and looks like it was going to go out for a throw in, honestly. That was terrible, but we've had the chance to take the lead in this game. The formation allowing us to get much more attacking, which I do love with this side. As Dinier whips the ball in right there, off Bowie. Going to have to pass it back right here into Simon Leonard. Through that gap onto Hanno Masengo. Who can hit one from range. And just when I say that, we don't get a chance to pull the trigger. And Doku now, as Doku gets a pass off to Petfork. Through the middle to Norman, as Bauman does get a tackling right there. And Bader Shield to pass it off to Masengo. So, Masengo with a pass over to Maleka. Can we try and get forward from this? They've had a bit of time on the ball right here, but I hope to kill that off with a pass through to Jean-Philippe Mateta. Has to try and get away. Good turn away. Goes for a shot. And to be fair, didn't look too bad on the angle that he was shooting from and with his left foot, but now the ball's out to Jeremy Doku. A very, very good young player, shall we say. The Belgium international now as Bowie gets the ball back almost half an hour in. And this game is still even, as that's a good block from Han Noah. Still losing the ball. And it's actually Doku who I've praised with the run away. Can we try and stop Doku? Who knows? Going to try and put a block in there. He's gone straight round us. Tackling is absolutely woeful. Too many sliding challenges, give away penalties. But that one, you can see the intent. You can see the intent, but we haven't won the ball, and it's going to be a penalty kick to Renier. It's it's Jeremy Doku. It's when we're up against a fast player, I need to try and like judge them and know when to start going. As can we make it two for two on saves? We cannot. Carlos Alenia makes it one to the away side. Not deserved at all, shall we add as well? Because dive the right way. Well, no, I didn't dive the right way. What am I on about? Just sent the wrong way. But dived actually confidently as well. I really thought they'd put it the same way. But it's back to the drawing board as Hanno Masengo. Pass to Danny Ceballos. Let's get forward straight away, shall we? I don't want this to be 1-0 for very long. It doesn't deserve to be. We should have scored our penalty and been one up as that's not a good pass from Jackson Maleka in the middle. But we are going to keep putting the pressure on Masengo with a great interception onto Leonard. This could lead to a goal, you know, through the middle. Jean-Philippe Mateta, 1-1. The striker who doesn't stop scoring does get his level immediately. And it is great work from Han Noah to intercept and get us forward. That didn't last long at all. Great pass through right there. Good touch, Leonard, to put it into the path of Jean-Philippe Mateta to whack it straight past the keeper. It's two or oh, two goals, 1-1 one, one. for a second there. I was thinking we'd scored as penalty, but of course we hadn't as Lea Siddiqui the pass over to Brassier. Brassier to try and get around us right here. But no, Jean-Philippe Mateta with the block right here. On to Simon Leonard. Can we actually get in front before half-time? That would be a change. It's Digne. First time ball in. He's hit it with his wrong foot. That had to be left-footed, mate. As we head it back in. And the referee's blown his whistle. Whatever floats your boat, referee. As it is going to be level at the break. It's been a good comeback story, but still feel like we need to kick on and get three points. No offence to Reniers, but they should not be the best team in the world. As Jean-Philippe Mateta, what a tackle. On to Maleka, as the tall striker receives the ball again. Runs straight into danger, though. Elise not making the best of that and runs forward. As this was a good one from Kunya Saar, as he's going to try and get around us. Blocked off there. Norman tries to put it over the top, and Samba with the header away immediately onto Elise. So let's try and turn it on its head, shall we? It's Michael Elise. We've got a man out wide. Good skill. Gives it to Leonard. Simon Leonard. Can he cross as well as shoot? It's a decent one into Mateta. And just over. That was an unlucky one as Bamba into Danny Ceballos. Onto Michael Elise right here. As where can Elise go? He's going to have to give it in the middle. Into Danny Ceballos. Onto Mateta who's been fouled. And that's a free kick. Right. Digne. Yes. This is what I'm looking forward to. Great free kick accuracy with the left back we've just signed. And this is a very good opportunity to score, you know. Can we try and get that top bin? That looks perfect. Luca Din strikes it over the wall. And onto the crossbar off the keeper's arm. What a save. That should have been us in the lead. But a great save from the goalkeeper to keep it all square. As now Jeremy Doku onto Boy. As we're going to put the pressure on them far forward. Keep on running at them. Just keep on going as they've got rounders this time though. On to Lea Siliki as it's gone backwards to Brassier. Get the pressure on half an hour to go. 
Not that long, you know. This is a game I want to be winning as Danny Ceballos onto Elise. And Elise to turn and run. Can he get that ball through? He can. Straight on to Hanoa Masenga. Where can he go? Hanoa into Elise. Run around from Mateta. Defender gets a touch, and that is a rough challenge. Just had to go for that one. Frustration. I'll blame that as now they're on the attack with 20 minutes left. Del Castello trying to get around us as Valerie does well. And it's going to be a yellow card Mateta. And Hanno Masengo on the ball right here with the ball through to Mikel Elise. And Elise now through to Jean-Philippe Mateta. Can we get the run around? We do. On to Michael Elise right here as this could be a move forward. Hanno Masengo. That was meant for him to be flicked onto. But Elise keeps it. Pass through. Just too short as we are actually running out of time as Ortega puts it out. At least we've got a chance from the throw in. As Digne to throw it in. Simon Leonard. We put into the back post. It's a great ball from a player who doesn't have the best of crossing. Of course, predominantly is a striker as Badashiel needs to win that header as well. And does the big centre back into Leonard as we're still pushing forward for this goal. In the middle. On to Jackson Maleka. Maleka to try and get around the side, but can't really. So going to pass it inside. Elise takes a touch out, goes for a shot, and is wide. Uh, so we're going to put the pressure on from the goal kick. They're passing short. Now that's the thing. Only I like us doing. Once the team gets past me from passing out from the back, I am frustrated. That's a good tackle from Bamba right there. Digne mm, had to get across. But luckily enough for us, it does go out. No touch on that ball as we need to get this win now. Hopefully Montpellier aren't winning wherever they are as it's on to Elise. Elise to try and turn with the ball in the middle. He's got Mateta in front of him. Just give him it. There we go. Now one more. It's on to Andre. Benjamin Andre on the field right now. He's going to try and cut inside as the old man and... What a stupid decision. However, he's still got the ball. Turn and shoot. Blocked. He's got to be more agile. Don't care about his age and his weak knees. But he's got to be more agile than that. As Mateta into Hanoa. Blocked by Brazier. It's not going to be a win, I don't think. That was the chance. Benjamin Andre out of all players. For it to bloody fall to. He's just come on for it. Of, uh, Jackson Malaker, I think. On the right-hand side of midfield. That's Peckfock running forward. Make sure he don't get a ball through. He has... On to Carlos Alenia. It's round the corner. Bad shield. How are you letting him get that shot off? As for Bruggen, it was comfortable for, but not happy with that one. It ends 1-1 in Paris. Not as comfortable and as good as I would have liked it to be. Because now Angers are above us still. The confidence flows through me. Because I do feel like other teams are going to drop points. Although, we only have nine games of this season left. And the fourth place chase is really on the pressure is on alongside it because of course we haven't got that long until fifa 22 and i do want to win something with paris fc as gingamp sit bottom of the league so this is going to be a comfortable simulated one i bloody hope i really really bloody hope because of course we've got no time to play this one and they play three games an episode as it's going to be the same team that just drew because of course they didn't lose and they were unlucky to draw in the end so quick simulate this Got to be a win on my books. Is it going to be? It is. But it's only 1-0, you know. After domination, should be more than one. And it's Hanoa Masengo, the goal threat at the moment, with it. And that does take us into fifth position. Two points now of Angers, who have actually swapped with Montpellier, dropping below us. It's going to be all up and down, up and down, around, around, all these positions. As we're going to play Nice. We've decided to play Nice instead of Bordeaux, because Bordeaux were actually in the relegation zone. Fancy my chances a little bit more against them, as we've got scout reports as well. And Nice have actually redeemed themselves a little bit, because these are in 14. As we now can go level with Montpellier. Angus have, I think, got a draw, I would guess. And Montpellier have won, but we are the game in hand right now. This is a late kickoff. Of course, it was on the Sunday, as the phone needs to shut up. And we need to play this one. Same team again. We've gone off the back of, of course, a draw. And a win, so I'm going to go with it. It says Baba's shining for Leicester at the side. That's very nice to see of him. But we focus on ourselves right here. And, of course, Digne over Baba. Let's go. And this time we are away from home. So it's Sanchez Ayala in goal. We play Nice all the bloody time every single day. With Mariapan, Pelmad, Brocadi and Niamb at the back. Kurt Ogoski, Odozev and Cyprian. Maldolida, Guess and Ambraziao in the attack. So let's get out there. Let's get this win and let's make sure... That we don't get caught by the other teams. As Bamba with a pass straight away into Hanno Masengo. Crossing to Danny Ceballos. We need to try and catch, I think it was Montpellier. Yes, who are now back in the driving seat after 
But it wasn't the game before. It's very up and down with every single team. So we may need to make sure we're actually up and get loads of form together. As that pass out to Valerie is a good one. Whipped into the back post. Just headed away. As we've received the ball gifted to us right here as well. Into Leonard. As Leonard's going to pass it one more. And it's sweated in. It's Mateta with it. We have literally been gifted the ball. I don't know if the camera actually caught me talking straight away with it. But I was just speechless. Look at that. The, the, it, yeah, it didn't catch it, the camera. It passed it straight to us. Maleka onto Simon Leonard and onto Mateta. I was thinking, just don't mess this up. We've been given it on a plate and we have eaten it up. 1-0, but it's come as a bit of a shock as the pass is the ball again. Simon Leonard can't get past. I think that's Ryan Niamb of Blackburn, if I'm not mistaken, as Digne fights for it back as well. Onto Elise. And what's Elise going to do right here? Keep on dribbling with it slowly. Now give it to Mateta, but... Tackled again and Zerkowski to come away with it as it's a good chip over the top as well and to Mayo Leader and to well this is Mayo Leader, he's got two names, Mizane Mayo Leader as Kurkowski gets around us right there. Don't let them level it. Guess and the player we've looked at signing loads before, but tackled by Bada Shield and Danny Sabios falls over through to the striker and dragged wide. No comfortable play at all right there as Simon Leonard to turn and run with the ball. He's going to keep on going. He's got a man in front of him, but the man in front of him does not receive the ball. So, odd does Ev to run away with it into Miazain. Almost there, but Kukowski to get this away onto Cyprian. As Cyprian is around us slightly right there into Pedro Ziao. Tackle by Kurtovsky. And forward again as Bope. A does Ev. It's just the same cycle, them coming at us and us defending. They're actually doing quite well, Anise, as it's only their mistake in the defence that's cost them. Cyprian scored in the last game. Shoots from range, but a shield with an easy block. Keep that in, mate. I thought I was going to let that go past him for a second there, as he's going to run it down the line slightly. Now inside to Masengo, a dodgy one, as Brazil picks up and it's Cyprian. Again, their passing is their downfall. It's like playing us, literally, before we switch formation. Every single pass is just letting them down. As Elise through the middle, out wide into Jackson Malaka. And Malaka to try and run forward, just needs support. And I see it arriving, but can't reach it. Managed to defend everything coming at us. As Mjazain keeping the ball. Jan Valerie away, please. There we go. On to Jackson Malaka and on to Danny Ceballos. But that is the whistle blown. 1-0 at the break. Not comfortable this time as well. Usually I say it's a good performance when 1-0 up. Look at that. One shot. And it should be more than 43%, or less, should I say. They should have had more possession than it actually shows. I think it was 57%. They've been dominant on the edge of our box. Hence why we are not comfortable. Want to stop that from happening as Simon Leonard with the ball. Fist to his feet, but does keep it under control as Elise goes backwards into Bamba as well. Get that through that middle. Great ball onto Jean-Philippe Mateta and Elise making the move. Is he going to get there? Yes, but his touch is straight to the man who's dominated this game, Zertowski. Oh, Gzurktowski, I don't know how you pronounce it, but he has been exceptional today. Done everything going forward and backwards as Gessant onto William Ziprian. As we're going to try and get across, can't really get there fully as Gessant lays it off. And we have got the blocking, get the pass forward straight away, Leonard, as it's onto Elise. Mateta making the run over the top. Will he get there? He might do. And what is that for a shot? Absolutely terrible. Like they're passing, though, because they've given us the ball out wide right here. Maleka. Gets it onto Valerie and can't keep the ball. Mariapan defending it straight away. So Mazzane with a turn. Can we try and block this? It's Gessand. And Bamba does get it still. Chasing it down. Zerkowski with the ball. We've got almost, well, yeah, less than half an hour left. As Zerkowski has the right side of us as well. Can we get a tackle in? We do in the end. Falls to Elise as well. As Elise is going to try and set off right here. Needs some support. Gets it in the form of Maleka, who's going to continue running. Can he get across in the end of this? He's going to try and reach Masengo at the back post. Volley! Just over. And Leonard with the ball right here as well as we approach 20 minutes. It's been more comfortable in the second half, but not at the same time, if that makes any sense. Because, of course, it's still 1-0. We're on the strings, but they haven't been attacking as much as they had done in the first half. As Masengo... Ooh, Got to watch his passing as well still as Masengo. That's short as well, but Elise does pick up on it. On to Danny Ceballos and through the middle to Jean-Philippe Mateta. I saw a run right there, but we could not fathom it out as Gisand gives it to Cyprian. Tackle. 
successful from Danny Ceballos. And we're going to try and get forward again. A lot of long highlights today as Elise finds Mateta, who's going to get there first. Jean-Philippe Mateta running at them, tries to turn out, tackle. And Gessand with a run on right here. Zerkowski's the man forward. Verbruggen has to come out. That's what we've got to watch out for. Just one attack like that when we seem like we're easily sailing, but then it just comes and we could be level right now. That's two points dropped if that goes in. Verbruggen with a great judge though. As Zerkowski, again, he's absolutely run this game as Cyprian with it right here. Masengo trying to get a tackle in, but it's chipped over the top with six minutes left in this one. Zerkowski going backwards. We're just running a bit like headless chickens, but still doing okay as Gessand turns us right there into Cyprian. Cyprian going backwards though as there is just four minutes and Badashir with an interception. Go, just get the ball forward even if we don't score at the end of it ultimately. I just want it forward. However, that's a good ball over and we actually could. Mateta cut inside like we usually do. Goes for that finesse and finds the bottom corner. That is game over now. 2-0 and it looks more comfortable for the last half a minute. Great finish that one. I'm yawning. It's been a long game. Finally, I can relax and sleep as it's just... A great, great shot into the bottom corner. Still can't sleep, actually, though, because you never know how long it's going to be added on and what we've got to do in that time, but I see that as comfortable. So, boys, just defend, shall we? At least say slide. There we go. Blocked him off. He had to go backwards, and the whistle is blown. 2-0, and that is three games unbeaten so far. Lovely stuff. Just what the doctor ordered. I don't know which doctor it is, though, as the we are in fourth position. We are drawn with Montpellier, but we must be better on goal differences. Chagui... Is this contract talk? Yeah, it is. You are not going to be signing another contract, so I'm not going to make any promises. It may upset him, as it has done, but I feel like it's better off for both parties. He's not getting game time. Why does he want his contract renewing? He will not be here. That's how I see it anyway, as we are going to go into this last game. Mateta still chasing Orsic for that golden boot that I do want him to get. He deserves it, as it's going to be the same team again. Going into a derby. Three games unbeaten, hopefully four with the same team. We're going to just keep it throughout. It's really, really, really working after the bad form we were on. As we're going to quick sim it, please don't lose to a relegation threat inside. As it's another 1-0 and another Masengo winner. This young kid, or he's not actually that young anymore. I think he's like 22, 23, keeping us in games massively with a goal in the 21st. And we do stay in fourth with that result, so that's good. But... This is a game that comes round twice a season and it's it's got to be unbeaten in this one because we can't afford to lose. We lost heavily in the last one, 4-0. We drew in the one before that, heavily got beaten. We've got to get out of this cycle. We play top of the league in the derby, Paris Saint-Germain, to keep our place. So this has a huge incentive. Last time we were playing them, we were like chasing like fourth spot. This time... We're trying to cement our place in it. If we do get a result, of course, we will go uh, still above Montpellier. But then we do play them afterwards. So it's actually two games that are massive. I thought we did. And just checked again. And we do. So same team. I'm going to do this press conference. And I am going to keep my fingers and toes crossed. Hopefully like you guys are as well. To try and get the result. Now the sign Messi yet. Let's have a look. Paris Saint-Germain, Leno in goal. They've replaced a, goal, a really old goalkeeper with an older one. With Tellez, Marquinhos, Senesi and James. Not older as in older than him. With Sabitza, Neymar, Junior, Maximovic, Mbappe, Cooper Myers and Anthony. Cooper Myers up front's a bit of a weird one. But yeah, I feel like I had to reiterate myself with the goalkeeper decision right there. Is why aren't they in their away kit? Why are they trying to do us in? I mean, you could just say it's tactical, I guess. As Danny Ceballos straight away with it. Let's try... And run at them as he tries to get a pass off straight away. Doesn't work, but we have kept the ball. Elise Mateta. Now Danny Ceballos as we've turned out. Still nowhere really to go. So we're going to have to turn on ourselves and give it to Jean-Philippe Mateta. Into Masengo right here as well though. Into Danny Ceballos. It's a pass again. Keeping the ball at the start of this game. Danny Ceballos, I want to be our Neymar in this game. I mean, it's a big ask of course. Or maybe Elise is our Neymar in camp as Jan Valery. Tackled. I need to shut up about comparisons and actually focus on the game as we've won it though with Malaika into Elise and why not? That's why. That's one of the worst shots I've ever seen as oh Mateta. He does get red carded a lot as well because of numerous yellow so suspended not red carded. He never gets a red card straight 
We need to watch them. I just tried to shut the defender down as Sabitz is trying to shut our keeper down. We've got to get across to him by the shield. Great block. And that is what I want from our big defender. He's looked so much more comfortable in a two-back rather than three centre-backs. Not playing just two defenders as well. Not counting four-backs. As Alex Tellez with it right here. He goes around to Sabitzer. On to Neymar Jr. On to Cooper Myers. He's trying to find an angle. But tackle right there from Bamba. And Bamba is going to run it forward to the side of him. Into Malaika. And Malaika to continue this. What can he do right here? Going to try a skill. To cut inside, give it to Matata onto Elise as Elise needs to find an angle. Cuts inside, can he do it with his right? He's getting closer. At least we know where you're getting at them as now Elise, he is the man who knows how to attack them. Marquinhos, not comfortable with his clearance and we do get a shot off but just through bodies so it was easy for Leno just to sweep up as Anthony into Neymar Jr. onto Cooper Myers as Danny Ceballos does receive the ball past him straight away right there and Elise all the way back into Axel Bamba. Bamba through onto Matata and Elise making the overlap. Oh, still can't get it. Neymar Jr. onto Anthony right here as Anthony to try and keep it. Into Cooper Myers, into Neymar Jr. and Digne to steal the ball away. Just don't pass it around the back for too long against these. That's something I have learned as Elise, the man on form, on fire at the moment right here, doing actually well in the team for once. The switch out to Dean in the middle right here as we've almost got 10 minutes left of this first half into Leonard. On to Jean-Philippe Matata. Run through the middle here from Mikel Elise. And Elise with a great touch. He's through. He can shoot. He saved Leno. Oh, and that could have been a big goal. We could have scored the leader against PSG. At least we're doing a little bit better than we usually do because this chase is officially on. Let's play dirty as well. I am going to slide. It is non-negotiable hopefully when it goes to FIFA 22 I can cut it out of my gameplay a little bit however Anthony on the attack right here don't want to give anything away here as it's through the middle Cooper Myers with a shot blocked right there tries to spin around good slide to block it off and Neymar Jr to fizz it over as it should almost be half time as when John Flip as it should almost be half time as well John Flip Matata onto Danny Ceballos and Elise who needs to try and get away from the defender spins out of course, I know he can't really do Finesse, so we'll pass it this time into Masengo, who can, you know. But he hasn't really got a clear angle. Passing it around a lot to say we've got the final attack of this first half. Into Elise again, spins out. Great spin, shoot with that one. And drags it wide on a weird angle. But a very, very, very promising first half. Even if we draw, I will be happy with the way we've played. All over PSG. Please say in particular, as now it's Masengo. Matata getting close, shut him down, shut him down, oh, he just doesn't get there, but Senesi with a pass forward into Neymar Jr., Sabitza onto Cooper Miners, as Cooper Miners gives it back to Maximovic, through to Neymar Jr., chasing them down, and Elise with the ball right here, what is Mikel Elise going to do, he's going to cut away, now he's going to pass it around the corner into Jean-Philippe Matata, and Matata through the middle again right here as it's Mikel Elise. Turns back on himself. Into Matata. Making a run. Elise with a shot. He saved. And a shove. But I don't think it was. It uh, wasn't a serious shove, was it? It was just putting him off. But a big chance right there. Missed by our player. As it should be one. Or maybe five for just Elise. He's the man playing the game today. He is pulling the strings as Anthony. Don't let him do it. Do not let PSG take a lead. I will be devastated. As Anthony has great feet as well and skill. Maximovic onto Cooper Myers around the corner. And he's put in. Of course it is. Jan Valery not being close enough. And it's Miguel Sabitzer with it. We now go behind to our bitter rivals after dominating them. What a shocker. Look at this through the middle. It's a good touch. It's pass around the corner and Jan Valery. That's why I needed to slide. I needed to slide that occasion. Because when I don't. It's not a penalty, but it's a goal instead. Verbruggen, of course, never getting that one. Very disappointed as Danny Ceballos. We need to get back in front. We need to get back in front and do it, hopefully, as quick as possible. Elise, not even in front as well, but just level. I'm talking about in front because we've been the better team off the ball. I'm not just counting the score in this one because the scores in these games are never few and between, apart from when it's on... PSG side as can we do something here Matata Elise making a move Marquinhos makes a tackle as it's Neymar Jr. as well here tries to pass it around the corner easy interception as Digne 
Just pass it in front of you. What a pass through to Elise. Turn and face and run. Jean-Philippe Mateta making an excellent one. The ball's a bit wide, but he's going to get there almost. It's Senesi, our old player at West Ham. How is he playing that good? As well as Reese James as well at right back. Haven't had a sniff down the left-hand side of the field. We've always had to go slightly centre slash right as it's through to Cooper Myers right here. Trying to get past us. Bad a shield, easy interception. And now we go forward again. Just 15 minutes left on the clock. However, Bamba with a tackle as well. On to Hanno Masengo and Mateta to run it forward. Shoves him off. It's Masengo. Can he get support? He does get a run right here. It is Mustafa Name off the bench into Masengo again. Bobbled pass. Oh, what a challenge. What a challenge from Marquinhos as that might cost us the point. It was great stuff right there as Bamba putting the pressure on. Still opting to try and get this result. Hanno Masengo looks over the top, doesn't get it over the top. And I am absolutely flabbergasted how he's got that. That's really going to stop us. But a shield can't get past his man, Neymar Jr. On to Marquinhos again as Cooper Myers going backwards. It's not, it's not of course, Marquinhos. It's Cooper Myers. Masengo, please, we've got one minute added on. Just nick the ball, please. We could get forward if we do, as Bamba does. We've got Mateta in front. No, 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 no. How has he blown the whistle? The referee, how do you blow the whistle? It's a 1-0 defeat to Paris after utter domination in the game, and that is a result in the end I'm not happy about. Alise's not happy, look at that. Anthony knows he's picking him up with confidence, and Miguel Sabitza has the biggest smile on his face I will ever see, because he knows he's just absolutely robbed the rivals. And that does drop us out of fourth spot, and Montpellier above us, even with a game in hand, so that's a bit of a shocker, but still... I'm going to say I'm proud of Elise, definitely. He says he's happy with the game time. That last game from him, apart from being on the losing team, was phenomenal. It was like a Zuketsu, whatever his name was, or Zuketsi, the game before. The man in the midfield for Nice, absolutely dominant in the show, faultless, but on the losing team as that Montpellier game is even bigger now. We play them first next time. Monaco then, and Lyon in the next month as it's, it's actually the last episode next time out. Montpellier... Monaco, Metz, Lens, and Olympic Lyon. It will be the finale of this season. So thank you guys for watching this episode. Like, comment, share, and subscribe with the notification bell as well as we have reached the end. Thank you for 3.2k subscribers. Absolutely amazing. 3.3 is the next aim though. As always, take care in a bit, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.